Hi, my name is Dr. Kenny Russell. I'm here with my wife, Haley. We're from God of Life Ministries International, and we put this daily devotion together to give you hope. We want to encourage you, for we know that the Word of God has a lot to say to you and to me. And as we make declaration of the Word, as we declare the Word together, as we speak the Word together, let us not give up meeting together, but let us encourage each other all the more as we see the day approaching. Hi, welcome to Word of God Speak. Today we want to speak words of encouragement and we want to see you receive your breakthrough from the Lord. We're talking about waiting and we're talking about wisdom and foolishness. And uh, it's been great just to look over what's happened in the life of these 10 young virgins. Mm. You know, they were all called to meet the bridegroom, but uh, five of them thought, well, you know, the bridegroom's going to come so fast, we won't even need any reserves, we won't need to take anything, any extra oil with us. He's just, we're just going to go, he's going to be there. Don't, doesn't he know who we are? We're the bride, we're ready. But five took a supply of oil just in case there was any form of delay. And don't we, in this world, people, as people, we just live for today. Yes. We never prepare for tomorrow. It's like, oh, I'll just go and get drunk and be merry and tomorrow we're going to die, or sirrah, yeah. sirrah. But no, the wisdom of God is prepare for tomorrow. That's prepare right. Prepare for the future. Have an eternal perspective on your life and then you will prepare for tomorrow. That's right. Well, we're reading from uh, Matthew 25. We're just going to read one verse today, and it's uh, verse 6, and it says this. At midnight the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Do you notice what time the cry went out? Midnight. <laughs> midnight. You know, we always talk about, you know, at, at the midnight hour, at the last hour, this is it. You know, if you feel like you're at, at your end, if you feel like, oh, you know, there's just no more time left. How could I even get, how can I go past this moment? It was the darkest part of the night. It was just the darkest Just before hour. dawn is mm. going to break. Midnight is the darkest part of the night. So what's your midnight situation that you're faced with yeah. today? I want to encourage you. The harder things get and the, pre and the greater the pressure, I want to encourage you, don't faint. Don't be of those that faint, but just start lifting up a praise from deep within. Start singing a song, start rejoicing, start saying, God, you're going to find me with a smile on my face. I'm going to praise you. And do you know what? The Lord's even given us angels that when we can't praise and when we've done all to stand, the Word says, when you've done all to stand, stand firm then. Yeah, you know, when we study things like that, I know we've shared it over past weeks, uh, from Ephesians, but when we study, when you've done all to stand, stand firm, just picture this. You have no strength, you have nothing left in you, and the Word says, stand firm then. I think of Paul and Silas in the prison. They'd been beaten, they'd been smashed, they'd been bruised, whipped and battered, mm -hmm. and they were at the midnight hour, and they sang praises to God. That's right. What a challenge in our lives to sing praise to God in our midnight hour. Just let that song rise from your heart today. Start singing. You know, I think about all the people that are in slavery. That's that right. saved my life when I was being born again. I thought, my gosh, they're in chains, they're bound, and yet they're singing. Their spirits are free, but physically they were bound. So let's have a focus today. Our focus is to see many raised up from a place of despair. So if you're in despair, if you're tired, and exhausted and worn out. We just speak strength to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask by the power of the Holy Spirit that you be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Until next time, God bless.